Both Republicans and Democrats in Washington want to lower the cost of prescription drugs. They may not agree on how to do it, but they do agree on keeping those middlemen from raising prices to boost their own profits. Alex Cameron has more from our News on 6 Washington Bureau. Well, there's bipartisan legislation to address PBMs, pharmacy benefit managers. There are oversight hearings that are scheduled. And today, a hearing on the administration's health and human services budget proposal provided an opening for Oklahoma Senator James Langford. You talk a lot about drug policy. But, but Senator Langford wanted to know why the HHS budget makes no specific mention of PBMs, companies that manage prescription drug benefits on behalf of insurance companies, negotiating drug prices with drug manufacturers. Langford says just this morning, a concerned constituent and came to his office asking what Washington is doing about PBMs. And I, I told her, I'm about to walk into a hearing with Javier Becerra and ask that exact question you just asked me. What's the plan at this point on dealing with drug pricing and the PBMs? Senator, thank you. Becerra assured Langford, while it may not be spelled out in the budget, his agency is very mindful of the impact of PBMs. Because we know it, it more and more there is a growing concern that the, the middlemen in the process of getting drugs from manufacturer to patient are skimming off a good deal of the money that's being generated. Langford welcomed Becerra's pledge and says it's critical there be greater transparency around drug pricing. Because this middleman behind the scenes is really controlling access to drugs, price of drugs, overprice of drugs, and quite frankly also keeping generics off the market. And this same committee will hold a hearing specifically on pharmacy benefit managers next week. Langford says the chairman has yet to say who the witnesses will be. In our Washington Bureau, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.